As young witches and wizards, we all dream about soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. When it comes to Quidditch, we've all wondered, do I have what it takes to be the next Quidditch star? To beat my toughest opponents? To keep my composure when it matters most? To chase my dreams at any price? To seek glory for my team. Because someday, that dream could become a reality. And the road won't always be easy. But if you just keep getting back on your broom, and trust in your teammates. Quidditch is magic. So ask yourself again, do you have what it takes? Do you have the heart of a Quidditch champion? Every Quidditch champion's journey has to start somewhere. And for many, that's in our own backyard. In our minds, the garden is a grand Quidditch pitch. And wind blowing in the trees is a roaring crowd. Can you picture yourself playing among your heroes? Welcome to our backyard Quidditch pitch. Before you take flight, let's make sure you're comfortable on your broom. Rest comfortably in the saddle and double check your grip position. When 
you think, up. Oh, the broom should do exactly what you want. If flying doesn't feel natural, try some adjustments. There are a lot of threats on the Quidditch field. Mastering your evasive flying will keep you out of harm's way. You can really push your broom for an extra boost of speed, but it won't last forever. You'll eventually need to ease off and recover. I think you're ready for something a little more advanced. Drifting will let you fly in one direction while looking in another. I use it all the time when lining up a shot on the goals. Not bad. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Definitely better than Neville's first time on a broom from what I heard. Here's a quick challenge to really see what you can do. There's no rush to move on until you're comfortable. How are you feeling on that broom? Brilliant. Then let's brush up on Quidditch, shall we? It's really... Each team has three chasers. They're the heart of the Quidditch team, if I do say so myself. That ball is called the Quaffle, and the chaser's job is to, well, chase it. When the other team has the Quaffle, our chasers need to get it back at all costs and bring it towards the opponent's goal. And working as one, Throwing the quaffles through any opposing goal scores our team points and brings us that much closer to victory. Quidditch is fast-paced and you'll often need to change your approach quickly. Sometimes a change in perspective is all you need. As a chaser, your main concern is the quaffle. Have a look for it now. Quidditch is first and foremost a team game. When you find yourself in an advantageous position, let your team know by calling for a pass. Now that you've got the quaffle, don't forget about the rest of your team. Individual talent will only get you so far. The truly great chasers know they need to pass to their teammates. As a chaser, your main focus is to score points for your team. The more you score, the closer you get to winning. Get those points by throwing the quaffle through the red goalposts. If an opposing chaser has possession, that can easily be resolved with a swift tackle. Have worked so far. You've proven you can score on an empty goal, but they won't always be on the bench. Let's see if you can slip one past the keeper.
That about does it for the chasers. Are you feeling ready for a warm-up match? I was hoping you would say that. This is the Weasley Twins, excited to show off our moves. And players take their positions on the field. The Quaffle's up. Eyes got his teammates, and he makes a pass. There goes the shot. Yes, keep moving it downfield. Chaser lines up the shot and the ball was stolen. That chase is not playing around. There goes the shot. The Quaffle flies past the keeper and goes through the hoop. There's a pass. Is in. What a great pass! He goes for the shot. Ah! That's it! Everyone, the show's over! This match has been brought to you by the handsome blokes at the Weasley Burrow. Mind you, don't step on any gnomes on your way out. You're a natural. I honestly didn't think we'd win the very first match, but it was well earned. Shall we challenge them to a rematch? Or are you ready to learn more about Quidditch? All right, the lesson continues. The keeper... Oh, and I think my brother Ron will be the best person to fly you through this role. Have fun!
Quidditch would be rubbish without the keeper guarding the goals. A good defence can make all the difference in a match. Your team's keeper has one very important job. Stop that quaffle from going through any of your goals. Being a good keeper requires the tactical mind to predict where the quaffle will be shot and the agility to stop it. With their vantage point, a keen keeper inspire and guide their chases as well. It may sound like a lot of responsibility, but nothing beats the feeling of single-handedly saving a goal. Chasers can play a decent defence, but to properly guard the goals requires a keeper. Keepers have their own way of moving. More like a hummingbird than a hippogriff. Give it a try. Diving is an important skill for a keeper to learn. It lets you move quickly and accurately between the goal rings. As a keeper, it's important to know where the quaffle is at all times. Don't forget to keep focus on it when you need to. The keeper's job is simple in theory. Stop the other team from scoring goals. It's trickier in practice. Chasers will try and trick you, so keep a close eye on them and be ready to move. Your team depends on you thinking on your feet. Um, broomstick, in this case. Those off back there. You've still got a team to help. From here, you've got the best view of the happenings on the field. Show us your leadership skills and give your team some guidance. Now let's take a look at your play calling from the chaser's point of view. Flying through auras will give you a speed and energy boost. Keeper's kick is an indispensable tool. You can use it to deflect quaffles and bludgers, or you can even give other players a good whack to drive them away. Let's give it a go. Try and save this next shot on goal by deflecting it with a big kick. about what you need to know as a keeper. Are you ready to play a match with proper defence? Brilliant. With the keepers added to the game, things are about to get a lot more interesting. This is the Weasley, Weasley Twins. Twins. Excited to let you lot in. Better put on a good match or we'll have you arrested for trespassing. Only joking, of course. Or are we? Here comes the bludgers! There goes the shot! The keeper blocks the goal, without breaking a sweat. Takes 
the shot, the chaser scores! Team steals possession. He takes a chance and this chase and makes scoring goals look easy. This match, like Mom's dream of us working in the ministry, is over. This has been Fred and George saying that you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. match. Offense and defense are both crucial on the Quidditch pitch. Now, shall we move to the next lesson? Or Brilliant. Let's move on to the roles that make Quidditch truly unique, starting with the beater. Better find someone fearless for the job. I know Fred has been giddy to go over this bit. Or was that... Ah, beaters. You either love them or hate them, depending on which side of the bludger you're on. What are bludgers? They're iron balls that are fast, aggressive, and enchanted to knock players off their brooms. A beater's job is to use a bat to drive those nasty buggers away from your team. Or theirs. What could be better than seeing your opponent set up a perfect play and totally ruining their plans? Chaser isn't equipped to deal with bludgers. For that, you'll need the beater's best as a beater. Your main focus should be on supporting your teammates by disrupting your opponents. And that all starts with a bludger. Drifting isn't just a chaser trick. Beaters can do the same, often to devastating effect. Quidditch is an incredibly physical game. Every hit will knock you off balance. Take too many hits, and you'll be tumbling off your broom. When all else fails, you can just pretend you are the bludger and tackle your opponents. That usually does the trick. Let's put all this practice into play. Hit that player with a well-placed bludger. Don't worry about hurting them. They volunteered for this. Well, they were voluntold to do this, but I'm sure they'll be fine.
Let's knock them off their broom. Same as last time. Send a bludger their way while they're still off balance. Maybe we should worry about hurting them. Just a little bit at least. Spectacular! Fred and George would be proud. Now take what you've learned and master it. Knock everyone on the field off. Now that you understand what a beater does, are you ready to see them in action? Then let's play a match with bludgers and beaters in the mix. Watch your head out there. Get ready for another thrilling game of Quidditch. The quaffle's up. Team saves it. Yes, keep moving it downfield. Spots his shot. It goes wide of the hoop. No one's hogging the quaffle on this team. He stole the quaffle. Yes. Keep moving it downfield. But the home team intercepts it. Visitors steal possession. There's the shot, the bandits in. Whoa, there was no ducking away from that hit. The away team steals possession. through the goal. He's already got big feet. He doesn't need a big head, too. He takes the shot. And it's a miss. Always good to see a team passing the quaffle around. They stole the... What a great pass. Quaffle soars towards the goal. Save! 
safe. These speeds towards this chase and make scoring goals look easy. That's it. Everyone, the show's over. Now that's done. Let's see if we can get a word from our winners. Nothing like dodging blood just to get your adrenaline going. How did you fare? No broken bones or brooms, right? Should we play another match before we bring the snitch in? Then that means we're ready to learn the last piece of the Quidditch puzzle. The Seekers and the Golden Snitch. I'm not a bad Seeker myself, but I wasn't the youngest Seeker in a century. So, I'll let Harry handle this one. Everybody knows the Seeker. Their job is to find and catch the elusive Golden Snitch to score big for their team. Easier said than done, as it's the size of a walnut. I suppose they don't call it seeking for nothing. But aside from sharp eyes, better have sharp reflexes too. Because once you find the Snitch, you'll also need to chase it and grab it before the opposing Seeker does. If you can stay close to the Snitch, anticipate its movements, and dodge a bludger or two, you can actually hold victory in your hands. Seekers are entirely focused on the Golden Snitch, an elusive golden ball. It's tricky to find and even harder to catch, but gives your team a load of points. When the Snitch has been detected, it's time for the Seeker to step up. Usually, you'd need to find the Snitch first, but for now, we'll just focus on the fundamentals. You'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with it later. The Snitch is famously hard to keep an eye on. Stay focused to avoid losing track of it. Keeping up with the snitch can be difficult, but using those gold rings will let you fly faster for longer. Seekers need to be quick and agile, making tight turns at a moment's notice. Drifting is an excellent way to make those tight turns. This time, you'll need to find the snitch yourself, and quickly too. You won't be the only one looking for it when we're actually playing. Keep your eyes open for a glint of gold. Listen out for the flitter of its wings.
it's there. Stay close to the snitch and keep it in your sight. Grab it when you're ready. And with that, you know everything you need to know to play Quidditch properly. Are you ready for your first real match? Okay, this one is for all the gobstones. We'll be playing with full teams now, so let's not hold back. This is the Weasley Twins, your favourite pranksters. And Quidditch. This is Ginny Weasley, excited to report on what is sure to be an intense game. Let the fun begin! There goes the shot! This one's a miss, but keep your chin up! What a save! Nothing's getting past that keeper! Great pass! Passing the couple. There's the shot. Nothing's getting past these goalposts. The away team steals possession. He's moving the ball downfield. to a teammate. What a great pass! This chaser, this chaser is unstoppable. Team steals possession. The beats are knocked a player down. There's the snitch, but who will be the first to catch it? Will this be it? The chaser scores a goal. The fumble. The chaser lines up the shot. Go! No! That snitch is so close to being caught. What a great pass! We're halfway into a nail-bitingly tense match. The Seeker's done it! He stole the purple! He passes to his teammate. The 
away team saves it. Always pass. Keep pushing. A tiebreaker is within reach. What a great pass. He's passing the couple. And it soars through the goal. The visitors steal possession. He shoots! Yeah, that's how it's done! I can hear the snitch, but where is it? The snitch is... There goes the shot! The Quaffle flies past the keeper and goes through the hoop. That was harder to watch than Percy's attempts at flirting. their seeker keep it up he goes for the bubble sword through the post time's running out with one minute remaining that snitch is so close to being caught the snitch is within reach don't lose focus now always good to see a team passing the quaffle around great pass and knocks their victim right off the roof. There's the shot, and it's in! 30 seconds to turn it all around. That snitch is on his last legs. Uh, wings. But that's an intercept. The shot, incredible shot. That's the end of the match. Perfect timing too. I think the gnomes are back again. This has been Ginny Weasley, previously of the Hollyhead Harpies, and now esteemed Quidditch commentator. Now that was Quidditch. The speed, the teamwork, the danger. It's all so thrilling. A resounding victory. I don't think any of them saw that coming. You've really earned our illustrious Garden Cup. We found some spare brooms lying around if you wanted them. Gave them a quick dusting and everything. They may not look like much right now, but given some time, I'm sure you'll be able to unlock their true potential.
at Hogwarts, there are few greater ways to bring honor to your house than playing on the Quidditch team. Against the likes of Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Could you win the Hogwarts House Quidditch Cup? Hope you Slytherins have more than just arrogance up your sleeves this year, because you'll need it. This is Lee Jordan, your favourite Quidditch commentator. Today, Gryffindor and Slytherin face off in a battle of courage versus cunning. What tricks, sorry, tactics, do Slytherin have up their sleeve? Madam Hooch releases the quaffle, and the game begins! Gryffindor takes the shot! <laughs> nice save!
it moving downfield. Even the most talented meter is no match for that shot. Goal! 